Can you take me high enough? It's never over. Yesterday's just a memory. So yesterday was the Boston Marathon, which for me is, is one of my favorite days of the year. I'm able to just camp out in front of the TV for the morning, watch the race, cheer for the, the elite runners, you know, especially the Americans, uh, hoping that, that maybe they'll be able to, to pull an upset like Meb did last year. And while that wasn't the case this year, uh, the race was still a great time. I had a blast watching it. And there are definitely a few things that stand out in my mind after watching yesterday's race. First and foremost, I really, want to run Boston. Uh, there's, there's no other race in my, in my mind, really. There's no other race that I can think of that is legitimately on my running bucket list. The only race that I want to run is the Boston Marathon. And when I can get one of these race medals, um, I probably won't take it off for at least a few days, if not even longer. Uh, I just, I, I can't Oh, I just can't even put into words how much I want to run that race. And yesterday definitely just cemented that into my mind. Another thing that stood out to me yesterday was watching the, the start of the men's race at the lead pack. Uh, it looks like a pair of ultras were actually leading the race for a little bit. At first, the announcers were giving Derek Urich a hard time for being up there in the lead. But shoot, why not? Like, if I ever had a chance to run with the lead pack in the Boston Marathon, or <laughs> in any marathon for that matter, uh, why, why wouldn't you do it? The third thing that really stood out to me from yesterday's Boston Marathon is just how awesome it is to have a race where there's that many spectators. You know, I've said before that I'm kind of a fan of the smaller town races, the, the smaller races with not thousands and thousands of other runners, but man, it would be kind of cool to have a cheering section pretty much the entire length of the course. And the last thing, the, the thing that's, that just sticks out in my mind way above anything else is how cool this guy is. I mean, sure he didn't win the race like he did last year, but as he comes across the line and he grabs Hillary's hand and holds it up, I mean, what a cool experience. What a class act from one of the world's elite runners to share his moment, but also to make her moment even more special. To me, it's a cool moment, but it also exemplifies how awesome running is when regular runners, and sure, she's really good, but when it comes to a big race, all of the runners are running the same course. You know, there's no other sport like it where Joe Schmoes can be out there competing with the best in the world on the same course at the same time on the same day. And that's one of the things that just really attracts me to the sport of running. And now there's only 363 more days until 2016's Boston Marathon, so let the countdown begin. Don't say goodnight. Say you're gonna stay forever. Oh, oh, all the way.